Hi, it's Heather from the Homestead Mercantile. Today we're going to show you how to take this mismatched piece of furniture and turn it into a beautiful display case. Okay, so I am painting one of our displays at the shop and I decided that I wanted to, you know, keep it old looking. This is a very old table that I picked up when we opened the market as a display table. I love the look of it. I just want to spruce it up just a little bit. I'm going to use milk paint, which I don't have in the store, like stocked in the store, but I can not order it for you if you ever want to give it a try. I'm choosing it to, because to me, it gives more of an authentic look if you want something to stay, you know, have that more of an old vintage look. It just kind of seeps into the wood and it could chip. You know, if you want a chippy look, milk paint's the way to go. Sometimes you have to force that. I really don't care if it chips or not. I'll work with it either way. I went ahead and mixed up my little black dress. It comes in a powder form. So I mixed it up like a cup of powder to a cup of water. And when I mix it up, I like to do it in a container that has a lid on it because that way I can store it if I need to. Try not to mix up too much more than what you're gonna need because it only is gonna stay good for a couple of days. So the powder will stay good forever, which is one of the benefits of using a milk paint. I've got it mixed up in this container, but I'm gonna pour it in this one so I can give my brush a little bit more room. We'll see if we have the right consistency. You want it to kind of drip off of your brush. Okay, so we'll give this a try. So I've painted my base and am about to paint the top of this. Another thing that I forgot to mention is that when you paint with milk paint, a lot of times as you're painting, you'll need to keep on stirring it in order to keep it from kind of settling at the bottom, the colors and stuff like that, and to keep the colors mixed. Didn't really have to do that with this. It was just, it didn't feel like it was like settling down at the bottom. So it's blended really nicely. As you can see, your milk paint is going to dry very light, but once you put your top coat on it, it's going to deepen and darken back up. There's several different products you can use to seal your milk paint. Here I'm using um, Fusion's Hemp Oil. I also like to use waxes a lot of times with my milk paint, but the hemp oil gives the black finish a really pretty shiny finish. I'm applying the hemp oil with a brush, and then after letting it sit on there for maybe five minutes or so, um, taking a very fine sanding pad and just going over that to make it very buttery smooth. So maybe taking a little paint off of the edges, but really that's not my goal is to distress it too much. It's just to make it really smooth. After that, you'll take a lint free rag and go over and wipe off any excess. And that's a very important step because if you leave it on, it's gonna get tacky.
paint that I mixed up did cover the table and then also this entire hutch and I still have a little bit left over. The second coat really shouldn't take as much so I'll probably end up mixing up maybe a half a cup of powder to a half a cup of water. So I'm gonna get that mixed up and then get started on my second coat. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it inspires you to create something beautiful of your own. Subscribe to our page to get notified of our new projects. Please feel free to comment and like the video. Check out the description below to find the links to our other social platforms and also to find the links to the products featured in this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.